you doing? My name is Larry Alvarez with the Airbrush Shop, and uh, I want you to watch this whole video so you have an idea of what it takes to have your helmet airbrushed. I can go over some prices and uh, and what does it take for you to ship over your helmet and how is I ship it back to you so you have a general understanding of what happens here with the Airbrush Shop. So let's make it real simple, real easy. Is uh, prices? Well, name designs are 35, 45. Okay, 35 would be like a name design if it was just a name by itself like this. Uh, $40 would be like a name. Let's fill it up with some stars and streaks and fill the whole helmet up. And there's actually a little bit of blue pearl that's in this. It's really cool, it's really nice. And of course it gets clear coat. Alright, so 35 to 45 for name design. Just kind of give you another name design, same price. This is more like a block. There's no stars, but there's some streaks in there. And we have some lightning bolts. And these lightning bolts are in a blue pearl, so it has a little bit of shimmer on to it. But it's really good in the sun. Okay, so 35 to 45 for name design. Something a little more custom will be flame designs. Here's a real cool flame design. You get your name in the back, but it'll be the full flame. If you want to add a softball in the front, $60, full flame. The name is the ball 60. If I have to spend more time on a, a ball with a face on it, I go to $70 for something like this. So flames are from $50 up to $70 for full flame, the mean face, and bite in the back, and put your name on the back there and get you clear coat. Okay? So these are real popular, these are really cool helmets. This one here is uh, this one I charge $80. I got a softball in the front, it's in motion, it's flying around, I throw your names on the back. But the cool thing is, of course, we got beach scenery on the side. Some palm trees. You can see the detail, the birds, you know, the birds are flying around. And if you can, I hope you can get the sand. The sand, I actually have it it's grainy. It looks like sand. I mean, I went to school through uh, the LA Trade Tech, which is owned by Walt Disney, to color theory perspective. And the work that I do is really detailed. And, and that's how I'm going to do all my helmets. A lot of people that have like 20 year combined experience. They have a few airbrushers. I have over 20 years of experience by myself. And I do all the helmets. So I'm just letting you know that it's really detailed. Um, I generally don't use patterns. It's all freehand done. Um, the one that's a little bit more, the price range is $100. You've probably seen this helmet out in videos. Real popular and I'm selling the, you know what's out of these. I sell this a lot. It's a tiki, little character. We have a little volcano, brought out some softballs, so you can see the work, and you know, at least a couple hours worth of work of this. The name is written in bamboo. No, I'm trying to get it so you can see that, Kimberly. Got a surfboard with flames, a little logo on the surfboard so you can see it. a lot of work involved with this. So $100 for this. Price range on helmets, $35 to $45 for name designs. Flames start at fifty dollars, sixty with the ball, or seventy if I put like a face of an expression of on the ball. Include your name, be clear coded. Cartoon characters. Send you a picture of the character. I include the name, put the ball on how it's situated. You know, make it look right. It look really nice. It's eighty dollars. So characters are eighty dollars, or something full custom, something like this. They kind of go over the line about hundred dollars. Okay, it's all freehand done. Another thing too, um, they start at $100, reason for is because I only use automotive clear coats. There's two types of clear coats to put on these uh, helmets. There's the, uh, what most airbrushes use at tournaments and stuff, it's just a rattle can, uh, acrylic enamel. Okay, so this can get sprayed right onto your helmet. I charge $20 more and I can put automotive clear coat, but I have to mix clear coat with a reducer, an activator, mix it all together in this cup and spray it through a spray gun. Okay, these clear coats, just a gallon of clear coat itself is up to about $200. So it's not that I'm charging a lot, you get a lot for your money. And not only that, the durability of clear coat automotive, it's the same that I do on the Harley Davidson motorcycles and the cars. Um, it's very rigid, very durable, and it's super shiny. It stays shiny for a long time. Um, the other nice thing is that I can put ice curl in them. I'm not sure if you can see it on this one. If I move it real slow in the sun, it looks beautiful, but there's little sparkles inside here because it has, what I put them these are ice curl. Okay, so it has a real nice sparkle. It's like a flakes. Okay, so what I do is I make
make it real simple. Go on the internet. I encourage you to go out there and look for different artworks, something that you like. You go on my website, airbrushshop.com. Look for something you like. Um, you can um, print out the idea, put it in the box with your helmet. It's really important. Send me your name, your phone number. I need your email. As soon as I receive it, I open up the box, take a look at it, go over the information. I'm going to call you, let you know that your helmet is here. And then I get my receipt book and I write down more detail of how we're going to create your helmet. So I have a vision, an idea of how this helmet's going to look before I even airbrush it. It's really cool. Um, and then I start airbrushing. I sand it down. I've been to tournaments where they don't need to sand down helmets. Some people only use a scuff pad. I use both just like painting the car. I sand it with sand paper. Then I scuff it. Then I clean it with a wax and grease remover so it's clean before it gets sprayed. Acrylic water-based paint. Uh, so they've done drop testing and everything else where it doesn't take out the durability of the helmet. It stays just as strong as the way you're going to send it to me. Um, then it gets clear coated after it's airbrushed. I take a picture of the helmet, then I can email that to you. That's why I need your email. And I also email you an invoice through my PayPal account. So you take a look at the helmet, if you approve of it, it looks really nice, you're happy. Then you open up the other email, just go ahead and pay for it. I see that it's all paid for, and then I send it to you. So you can see the process that I'm going through these helmets. Generally speaking, if I receive a helmet by Monday, by Wednesday it's done, cleared, ready for shipment. I'm sending you on Tuesday the pictures for approval. And if you do it right away, Wednesday I'm sending them. So Monday I receive them, Wednesday they're getting sent. And if you're in California, more likely you will get it probably within the same week. But I said send you to Ohio, New Jersey, all over the country. The helmets are coming in on a daily basis. I do have the helmets here, or I do tournaments. I do a lot of tournaments here. Um, I mean, I'm prepared. I have my 12 by 12 by 12 boxes, and I order them by the bunches because I ship them everywhere. This is one of 20, you know, these are boxes, just like I showed you there. So it gives you an idea that I do a whole lot of shipment of these helmets. So uh, I try to make it as simple as possible. That's why I put this real quick video together uh, so you can have an idea of what it takes to have your airbrush done. Again, my name is Larry Alvarez with the Airbrush Shop. And I hope that, that was easy. it's easy for you to send your help. So until then, you guys have a good day. All right, goodbye.